So, Chris, we have got to talk about Tyreek Hill. <laughs> he is being traded, or has been traded, from the Kansas City Chiefs over to the Miami Dolphins. And we got a lot to talk about with this. Um, because you and I kind of go back and forth on Tua Tungavaloa, the quarterback for the Dolphins. This was uh, five draft picks that the Dolphins gave up. A 2022 first rounder, number 29 overall. A second rounder, number 50 overall. And a fourth rounder this year. And uh, in 2023, they're giving up a fourth and a sixth. And it's a four-year, $120 million contract. $72.2 million of it is guaranteed. Now, the Chiefs thought that they had this thing kind of wrapped up. They, they felt really good about negotiations until the Devontae Adams deal got done. And Drew Rosenhaus said that, hey, this, like, everything changed. When, when that deal got done, well, we came back to the table and said, yo, we got to have more. Because if that guy's going to get that, I got to get paid. And I understand it completely, but I'm curious your thoughts on, on what this means, one, for the Chiefs, and two for the Dolphins, and, and I'm going to get a statement ready because McKinnon wanted me to, to read something on the air, but I'm going to let you give your thoughts first. Um, I Okay, so for the Chiefs, I, I think we're about to see a world where Patrick Mahomes looks more like a regular quarterback and not like a superhero. Uh, we, we never gave the amount of appropriate credit to the loaded roster that he was giving, not only roster-wise, but also coaching-wise, which he still has that massive advantage. Oh, yeah. Um, and, 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 and not that he's not crazy talented, not that he's not an unbelievable quarterback, but he is a product of a massive system. And I've always said, if he was drafted in Washington, his name would not be as big as it is, and he would not be getting $500 million contract. Um, you know, and, and that's just, He's just a product of, of those things, and he's done everything he's supposed to do in those situations to succeed uh, around around that. That's fine. That's good. That's well. No problem. Um, Tyreek Hill's a big part of that. The last couple of years, not maybe not years, this past year, I'll say that, Travis Kelsey has not been the superhero Travis Kelsey that he's always been. You are right. And if those people who've always said, you know, oh, he's him in his prime is better than Gronk in his prime. Well, brother, we about to find out because Gronk got to play with a bunch of guys that were potato cans, okay? <laughs> All right? Julian Edelman, little old Mighty Mouse, was the best receiver on that roster along with Gronk. And then there was 50 feet of crap for the next guy, okay? So we're going to find out. And, and there's still a bunch of talent. Nico Harbin got a ton of talent. Juju Smith got there. That's fine. But I, I just, I just think, I just think this is more a this is tough for the Chiefs. Okay, not not that it's a rebuild, but but their offense is going to look more like a normal offense, in my opinion. Oh yes, up. yes, I I one hundred percent agree. Uh, I do think that this is why you do not see a bunch of dynasties in the NFL. I mean, it's yep. it, players are going to move. Period. It is when when people when he won his first one and everyone. Started doing what they did with Aaron Rodgers. Oh, yeah. They did what they did. All these quarterbacks, how many he going to get? How many? Let's just start counting them up. Let's just start chalking up championships. And I tried to tell everybody, just be real careful, okay? Because what that young man did up in New England, he's never been done before, and I just do not believe it's ever going to happen again. I tend to agree. I tend to agree. Uh, Matt said, how much is Mahomes going to drop in production with getting married to that craziness? And Matt said he saw Juju and Jackson – doing the TikTok dances and threw the deuces out the door. Uh, yeah, I, I really, like, I think it was money. I think it was just mostly money, and Kansas City could not afford to keep him along with all of the other stuff that they have to do to rebuild this team. Like, I, I really think that's what it was. Uh, McKinnon sent me a note. He asked that I please read this on the show. Uh, he said, I know the overwhelming majority of Chiefs' kingdom is pretty heartbroken. Tyreek will forever be the best Chiefs wide receiver in franchise history and one of the best in NFL history. I truly wish him nothing but the best. All that said, Veach was not about to pay an almost 30-year-old wide receiver $30 million a year, especially considering his biggest asset is speed, which does nothing but decline when you get to this stage of life. The Chiefs took a chance on him originally and stuck by him when he got in trouble a few years ago. If there's any team that deserved a team-friendly deal, it's Kansas City. He will do great in Miami, but there's 
pretty high chance his days of winning like he did in Kansas City are done. Uh, Veach is famous for dropping our favorite folks for younger talent that's a lot cheaper. Uh, he should be proud of this. Kansas City just did one of the most patriot things I've ever seen. They're truly trying to build a dynasty of sorts, and Bill and the Pats would have never done this deal with Tyreek. The Hall Kansas City guide allows for us to build for the future, and there are very few teams who are as, uh, who are as good at drafting as Kansas City is. Hill cannot be replaced one-to-one, but I trust Andy to find a new scheme for whoever he gets via trade, draft, or free agency. Next year's going to hurt, but it'll get better. Plus, this frees up over $20 million in space. I hate losing Hill, but this is how successful organizations stay successful. I don't think he's wrong about this, by the way. Uh, and it's something that I told him. I said, look, the money that you're going to save by not having Tyreek Hill on the roster is going to be spent in other areas. The areas that needed to be shored up anyway. If Mahomes yeah. is as good as they say he is, then this won't make a difference. You can bring in sure. somebody else, and he will recreate a good wide receiver. So the question right. that we're going to find out this year is, is, is was it Tyreek Hill? Like yeah, was it Tyreek Hill or was it Mahomes? Like, which one That's was right. it? So now we head over to the Dolphins. Uh, if you're two with Tonga Valoa, you got no more excuses after this year. And I know that that's tough to say. I understand that, but we've been talking about him for a couple of why years that, now. Hang on. Go ahead. Why is that? Why is that tough to say? Well, uh, 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 there are a lot of people in the NFL that that don't want to just pin it on like one season. I know that's a lot of pressure on a quarterback and whatnot, but I think oh fuck uh, those people. <laughs> rebuilding the I mean, offensive Kansas, line. You got to get right. Why exactly. You got to get Gary. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. If you if you this is what I've said for a long time. Okay, this is what I've said for a long time. If you have to have a super team for you to be good, then you're not good, okay? That's it. That's the truth. And I think that's right? what we're going to find when, out when, about Mahomes when, as well. When, when all these other people start crying, Aaron Rodgers cries, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that. The boys in New England never had that. Eli Manning never had that. He won two Super Bowls. You won one. True. Okay? Now, nobody in the world would say Eli's better than, than, than Aaron. Well, why the hell not? Look at the talent he won Super Bowls with, and look at the talent Aaron Rodgers has had. Okay? It's, it's completely different. Not even different. close. If you have to have a super team, then you're not good. Plenty I, of guys have won with super teams yeah. that aren't good. Trent Dilfer, not good. <laughs> you know, Brad Johnson, not good. Last quarterback, not great. Got championships, okay? Well, Russell Wilson wasn't good yet when he got his. Like, he was, he was all right. But it was, he was, it was, he was pretty dynamic. He was pretty dynamic. He was dynamic, uh, but give, he I'll was give Russell his. he was not this. They did not win that with their but, offense. But this is but this is my frustration. This is my argument is is if you have to have a super team, and that Chiefs team has been a super team. This Dolphins team now, that talent wise, from an offensive perspective, they're a super team. He better be good. He better be a whole lot better than good. Oh yeah. No, they, they should this be... Is put up or shut up. Yeah, they should be really, really good. Uh, Taron Armstead from the Saints, of course, they brought over a couple other offensive linemen working on uh, J.C. Treader from the Browns. I mean, they still got stuff that they're working on. Cedric Wilson brought over in uh, in free agency. Uh, Mike Gesicki, the tight end, they uh, they tagged him. Um, they added Chase Edmonds, running back out of uh, the Cardinals, and Raheem Mostert. I mean, they have got speed for days on this team. They, they've got everything that you could possibly need to be able to win. So now, if you're Tua, you better go win. You better do something. Like, this is, they have done, now, let me ask you this. Do you think this is a bit of uh, an overreaction for uh, the Dolphins franchise after everybody accused them of tanking? from a few years ago, right, where they had the well, accusations from Brian Flores about they paid me $100,000 per loss and blah, 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 blah. Like, do you think maybe this is them going, hey, uh, we weren't trying to lose? Obviously, look. Look at all the money we're spending. Well, but, hang on. You, that doesn't, no, because that doesn't, that argument doesn't hold water. Like, like, you know, I wasn't trying to lose four years ago. Look at look at how good I'm doing now today. Like that <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. No, no, you can't use that argument. They're not using an argument. That's that's dumb. They're trying to win because they're at the point where they got to win. That's, they, that's I'm it. with you. The only thing they're doing. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE. 
at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.